So I'd like to speak us through a short movement practice, um, if that's okay. So make yourself as comfortable as you can. We're going to move from seated to day. Um, I've got my trusty blocks underneath my feet. They could quite um, it could be books or anything you've got handy at home. We really just want to have our feet planted into the, the floor or into a surface of some sort. We want to be sitting on a chair that allows us to sit up as tall as we can and to drop our shoulders down away from our ears. Our chin moves in. And we'll begin just by a little bit of body awareness, knowing that we are in our bodies, not just our thoughts. So being aware of where the feet touch the floor, of where your sitting bones are touching the chair and the length of the spine. The next thing I like to do is to become aware of my breath and how I'm breathing and ultimately how I am in this moment. So perhaps with eyes closed or gaze down towards the floor in front, simply breathing in and out through two nostrils and noticing where you feel the breath the most in the body. So that real sense of breath and body awareness before we move on with any movement practice. And when you felt ready to begin, we're going to breathe in through our nose and turn the head all the way over to the right. Our chin's parallel to the floor, breathing in. And our breath out brings our face all the way back to center again. So that's your exhale, your breath out. Breathing in all the way over to the other side. And breathing out to center. Breathing in chin to chest, chest to chin. So we're not collapsing, we're keeping the shoulders back a little, not too much, and coming up. So we continue with that, we breathe in right. Breathe out center. Now you're following your own breath rate, so you could be moving with me if this is all new to you or you could be moving much more quickly or much more slowly and breathing out back to center. And just one more, chin to chest. And coming up, one more round just like that. So remember we're working to our own edges, our own limitations, no push or pull. If something doesn't feel right, please just stop and wait till a part of the program where it does feel okay to join back in again. Chin to chest. And then coming up. And we could take a few shoulder shrugs. So really simple again, breathing in, shoulders towards the ears. It's a deep breath in and as we breathe out, we could Long exhale out the mouth and again. One more. Good, and then a couple of times, shoulders back up towards the ears, easing the shoulder blades together behind, dropping the shoulders down. Breathing in as we move upwards, breathing out to come down. Breathing in and out through the nose as often as we can. Okay, let's take a couple forwards as well. Full range of motion. Might be a little bit noisy. Just remember how close those shoulders are to the ears. If it comes with any pain, please stop. I like to finish with one, just one backward so that I feel nice and open before I move on. 
Super, lovely. Let's take the hands down and then breathe in and sweep two arms out to the side and overhead. So we're breathing in as we bring the hands together above the head and then let's breathe out as we bring them back to the centre of the chest. Our next breath in, it's almost like swimming. Hands come forward, take them wide, breathing into the chest. And then we'll breathe out and we'll round forward. So join back the tummy a little bit. Two arms overhead as you breathe in. And then breathe out all the way back down. So we'll do that a couple of times. Breathing in to reach up super tall we're lifting the ribs away from our hips and really thinking about the space in the rib cage as we do that breathing out hands to heart breathing in as though we're swimming and the shoulder blades move towards one another on the back and then rounding and you're really drawing back your tummy here and shoulders can come up and over a little Two arms back above the head, inhaling. You've got all that space in the rib cage, And then exhaling all the way down. Third time. Breathing in to come up. Breathing out to heart or center of your chest. Swimming on your breath in. Rounding, breath out, really squeeze tummy. Coming up. And then all the way back. Bring the hands into the lap this time. Take a breath in and a breath out. We'll add to that a little twist. So, breathing in, two arms all the way overhead. Left arm forward, right one back. Now, depending on the chair you're sitting on, you can use that. We don't want to push or pull or force, but we can use the, the chair just as a little help. Crown of the head's above the tail as we turn on your exhale. And then we inhale and we come all the way back to center. So we want as much length through the spine as we can. So that's why we reach up and breathe in. And then all the way to second side. You might begin to turn over the back shoulder a little. And we've got lots of space between the shoulder blades this time. And tummy draws back, so it's not that you're pushing on the chair to turn round. It actually comes from here, from somewhere deep down in the middle, deep down in your centre. Coming back. We'll take one more to each side. Breathing in to reach up. Breathing out to turn. back to the middle, reaching up on the inhale and breathing out to turn. Good. Come back to the middle. Let's take a couple of spinal movements. I'm articulating through the spine, cat-cow, quite common in yoga, you might have heard of it. Chin comes in, we roll down, hands slide down the legs to where it's comfy. Space between the shoulder blades and we're really drawing in and upwards with tummy. And shoulder blades into the back, reaching up. So this one can be done on the floor in hands and knees. Or of course we're here sitting. Breathing in to open. down so you know mobilizing the spine super important and then coming back to center let's move down and focus on our feet so send one leg straight forward and maybe we could circle into the ankle in one direction in the opposite. Bend the knee, bring the foot to the floor and then on the other side and this whole time maintaining just a little bit of lift 
feet and the navel and sitting up as tall as we can. And at the same time, soft shoulders, soft jaw, soft face. So in something that seems really simple, there's really quite a lot going on. A lot to think about here. Good, bring the foot down. And then one for the mind as well as the body. Lifting one heel up off the floor at the same time we lift the opposite toes. And then we're gonna go for a gentle march. So one heel, toes lift. One heel, toes lift. One heel, toes lift. And so on from side to side. Good. Okay, two feet back to the floor. Simple knee lifts. You could hold on to the chair here for a little bit more stability. Lift one knee, send the leg forward, lift the knee, pop onto the floor. Lift one knee, send the leg forward, lift one knee, pop onto the floor. Another couple like that. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling. Exhaling, last two, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Okay, becoming aware of those feet against the floor again, sitting bones against the floor again. How would it be if we were to drop the chin to the chest and then begin to round forward? down towards the floor and then rounding up keep the chin in until we're sitting all the way up shoulder blades come down head comes up last and again rolling down and rolling up you could add more repetitions if this was feeling great to you today I'm just doing three of everything Good. we'll take one more and then we'll add on at the top so as we come up again we're going to take two arms wide and take that twist left arm forward right one back so we make ourselves as tall as we can Left arm forward, right one back, squeeze. Come back to centre, rolling down, down we go. Coming up. Arms go wide. And turning. One more add-on this time, rolling down. And as we come up, is it possible to take the right knee with you? So the knee lifts as we come all the way up. Foot to the floor, reach tall, and then we'll twist. Down we go. Remember and pull back tummy button as you turn. Coming back. Down we go. It's the left knee that's going to lift this time as you come up. Reaching up. And turning. Good. Come back to centre. Hold on. Settle the shoulders, draw in the chin, be aware of where the feet are on the floor, your sitting bones on the chair. Breathing in and out through two nostrils. The breath becomes silent and smooth. It's an effortless breath. 
Allow the breath to breathe you. The difference here is that you're aware of the breath. The breath breathes us all day. But allow the breath here to breathe you, but notice, notice the breath. Notice your breath in, notice your breath out. Allow your shoulders to soften, your jaw to soften. Space between the eyebrows, the temples. The tongue widens a little in the base of the throat. You could even swallow here. Soften the shoulders, shoulder blades, chest. So take a moment for yourself. Blink a few times. Come back to me. Enjoy how you feel. Thank you for practicing with me today. <laughs>